everyone this is dr shiva nas today i am going to present very interesting lecture on plant agriculture i am assistant professor at dow college of biotechnology dow university of health sciences what is plant agriculture basically it is an art and science of multiplying plants in vitro Here are some contents that we'll be discussing during the lecture, such as introduction of plant tissue culture, some advantages of plant tissue culture, facility design required for the plant tissue culture lab, different stages that can be used for the plant tissue culture, and the different culture types uh, that can be used for the plant tissue culture uh, technique and some applications of plant tissue culture. Here are some learning objectives. After the lecture, students will learn about the basic concept and understanding of plant tissue culture, different techniques that are that are involved in the plant tissue culture, and applications of plant tissue culture. What is in vitro propagation? In vitro means in glass propagation in glass. or in artificial condition we call it aseptic technique or sterile technique where in vitro propagation of plants or micro propagation can be done in an artificial condition in an sterile condition so uh, in vitro propagation we also call it micro propagation these are the asexual reproduction tissue culture basically is a uh, technique in which all small fragments of the plant and we also call it ex plants different type of uh, different parts of plants such as leaves shoots root any part can be introduced in an artificial nutrient medium with known composition which allow its functioning or the growth of the tissues that is used to develop thousands of genetically identical true to type plant from a single parent the basic principle of the in vitro propagation is the phenomena of the totipotency totipotency means the ability of every part or single cell of the plant to produce or regenerate into a complete plant there are several advantages of plant tissue culture production of millions of two to type identical plants from a single parent the plantlets are obtained in a very short period of time and within the limited space the new plantlets are produced uh, can be disease and virus free plants this plants can be grown throughout the year irrespective of the any kind of season and the production of the new varieties can be done by uh, tissue culture methods and the program uh, of the tissue culture production can be easily uh, uh, programmed or planned as per the demand or need of that specific type of crop it can be continuous supply throughout the year and the another very another very important advantage is the genetic conservation means the endangered species can be uh, uh, produced or reproduced by the a uh, tissue culture method and can be stored for a, for a very longer period of time and under certain uh, condition means very low temperature uh, any kind of cell such as seed any part of the plant uh, in vitro propagated plant can be preserved for very long period of time here are some basic facility that are required for the uh, tissue culture lab the most important or the basic thing is the it can be uh, categorized or into four different parts in the lab uh, first part is the washing room or the sterilization room where all the uh, consumables or the uh, glasswares can be properly washed and after proper sterilization in the autoclave can be used for the media uh, preparation and for and then transfer of explant can be done in the sterile room or in the uh, inoculation room and the very important uh, 
facility or the part of the uh, basic tissue culture facility is the stock solution or the media preparation tool. Here are some important instruments that are required such as pH meter, stirrer, uh, different uh, basic chemicals that are required for the media preparation can be placed in this room and uh, some basic instruments such as refrigerator to stock the all stock solutions uh, at a specific temperature such as 4 degrees centigrade and uh, weighing balance, pH meter, stirrer, microwave oven, water uh, dispenser, uh, distillation unit can be provided in that facility. Another part of the basic facility design is the culture room or inoculation inoculation room. Here, the most important instrument that can be provided is the laminar flow cabinet. In laminar flow cabinet, HEPA filter uh, can be placed and the air is clean without any uh, type of contamination. So, all X plants that are transferred from the outside inside the lab and transferred after proper sterilization. Uh, all plants can be transferred in the uh, medium, in the artificial medium, in the under the LFC with proper sterile condition. In this room, all area should be properly sealed and without any type of external source, uh, all cultures can be transferred in that room, in operation room. And the other part is the growth room, where all the transferred uh, cultures can be placed in that room for the longer period of time such as uh, 3 weeks, 4 weeks or more than that. So in that room some specific conditions can be maintained such as temperature, light and humidity. And the last facility which is the outside the laboratory is the greenhouse facility where all cultures can be shifted after proper proliferation such as shoot induction, root induction can be transferred in the uh, greenhouse facility where certain uh, after several period of time these plantlets can be transferred or shifted into the open field. So there uh, these are the basic facility design required for the plant tissue culture lab. So what are the basic requirements such as the laminar flow cabinet for inoculation of the aseptic culture temperature that is required. Uh, is around 25 to uh, 27 degrees centigrade. It control environmental conditions such as humidity, light, and obviously temperature that I already uh, mentioned. And the light intensity that is required for the uh, proper growth of the plant uh, is the 16 hours photo period and 8 hours light or uh, dark in dark condition. And the light intensity that is required for the proper growth and development of plants are. Uh, about starting from the 200 to maximum 1600 lux for the best growth of the plants. Here is basal medium. What is basal medium? Basal medium, all those nutrients that are required for the growth and development of plant in the natural environment from soil can be provided artificially in the specific concentration. Some are required in some higher concentrations such as macronutrients in which nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium and calcium are required in the form of uh, some a combination of salts and some are required, uh, some nutrients are required in lower concentration or in micromolar concentration in, in which uh, some elements are such as iron, magnesium, zinc, uh, that are required for the growth uh, of the plant but in very low concentration. Some other important uh, nutrients such as vitamins such as vitamin B1, B6, B12, uh, nicotinic acid and some other are the examples of the vitamins that are the good source for the uh, growth and development of plant can also be provided in the low concentration in the form of the basal medium. Iron is also a source of the basal medium required in very low concentration and some other requirement are the uh, carbohydrate source. Carbohydrate is also a very important source that can be provided in the form of suppose different form of sugars can be provided for the uh, carbon metabolism for the uh, providing the uh, nourishment and growth of the plant in artificial condition and the supporting media. Uh, 
provided with some uh, plant growth regulators that are also a very uh, important uh, factor for the growth and development of plant in artificial conditions. These plant growth regulators are the synthetic uh, plant growth hormones uh, such as uh, auxin, cytokinin, gibbelins and others can be provided for specific growth and development of plants. So it can be vary as per the requirement and uh, such as for shoot induction uh, cytokinin used in some higher concentration and for the root induction and callus induction auxin can be used with some higher concentration. In most of the media these plant growth regulators are uh, using uh, with each other with some higher and some lower concentrations. And the organic supplements such as coconut water and some other growth supplements can also be provided in the basal medium for the uh, good growth and good proliferation of the uh, plant cell culture or plant organ culture. Most important thing for the uh, in vitro propagation is the sterilization. Sterilization means the cultures without any kind of microorganism or any kind of contamination. In this uh, culture or sterilization, some different sterilants can be used with some uh, different concentrations. Some are used with some higher concentration and some are used with some lower concentration but used with some longer period of time. So time period and the concentration of these sterilants are very important. For it depends also uh, for the size of the explant. Some are some explant are very fragile and soft tissues, and some are very hard uh, type of cells. So in that, a uh, different type of uh, plant explant it depend on the type of explant. So sterilization can be done as per the need. Uh, sodium hypochlorite, calcium hypochlorite, ethyl alcohol, mercury chloride, 20-20 as a surfactant can be used for the proper sterilization or the contamination free cultures or aseptic culture production of aseptic cultures can be done fungicide also be used for the free treatment of the uh, for the uh, sterilization purpose uh, for uh, initiation of the excellence there are different stages that can be uh, maintained during the complete in vitro uh, cultures uh, from stage 0 to stage 4. The basic part or the stage 0 is the uh, development of the uh, mother plant or establishment of the uh, source of X plant where the mother plant can be uh, provided arranged with, uh, with some good condition and stage 1 is the initiation of plant uh, means the establishment of the culture from the outside to the inside or in vitro condition. After successful uh, initiation means uh, culture without any type of contamination, any kind of microorganism uh, can be transferred for the another type or another stage or stage 2 where multiplication can be, uh, can be uh, proliferated uh, for the shoot induction, for the elongation of shoot development, some other plant organs. So we call it stage, uh, stage 2 and then after successful shoot induction the cultures can be transferred in the another stage and we call it stage 3 where rooting can be developed in the uh, different uh, medium along with different plant growth regulators that can be added as per the requirement of that stage uh, of the plant. And after successful uh, continuous stages from 0 to stage 3, these uh, planters can be shifted in the greenhouse where acclimatization can be done. So we call it stage some plants there is a uh, stage 2 and 3 can be done on the same medium but some cases different stages can be maintained by adding different plant growth regulators. This is important phenomena used in the in vitro propagation. We call it regeneration method. Number one is the direct method. Another method is the indirect method. In direct method, direct <laughs> such as any kind of uh, leaf, shoot tape, meristematic cells can be uh, can be taken for sterilization and direct organ formation of the plants can be done. For direct organogenesis, for prototype cultures, this type of method, direct method can be used by adding different uh, plant growth regulators. 
but in some cases uh, indirect method can be used uh, such as callous induction or unorganized mass of cells first can be uh, maintained and from these unorganized mass of cells or undifferentiated cells degeneration can be done so this method we call it indirect method this method can be used to have several purposes but mostly for two type cultures direct method of the regeneration can be performed in in vitro propagation this is a quiz and some questions that are based on the uh, topics or the questions that already uh, covered during the lecture number one is the totipotency totipotency is the uh, cell characteristics in which the uh, potential of the of forming the uh, all type of the cells and organ so this uh, statement is true another is the stage 2 in the plant tissue culture we called rooting this is the false stage uh, false stage uh, statement because stage 2 of the uh, plant tissue culture is the uh, shoot induction or the induction of shoots in plant tissue culture growth room 16 hours photo period or light and 8 hours dark period is required for the best growth of plant this is also a true statement and the meristem uh, is a dome of tissues located in the at the extreme tip of the of the shoot or other part so this is also a true statement there are different types of uh, cultures that can be used during the in vitro propagation techniques and these are all very important type of cultures having specific requirements so uh, these uh, will be discussed such as seed culture embryo culture callus culture organ culture protoplast culture and anther culture these all culture types have specific conditions and requirements so uh, that can be used uh, i will discuss in detail the uh, number one type of culture is the seed culture why we are doing seed culture in in vitro propagation because seeds are smaller in size there are a lot of problem of the seed dormancy after some period of time seeds cannot be able to regenerate into a complete plant so the, they lost uh, this uh, type of uh, Uh, this type type of requirement or this kind of characteristics so uh, to overcome that problem tissue culture is the main uh, is the main requirement or main type where we see use the seed uh, to proper proliferation of these cells or in vitro propagation can be successfully performed and another uh, problem is the slow proliferation of the seeds because of the smaller in size so very low uh, food reserve so all to overcome all those problem seed cultures can be artificially uh, used for the proper proliferation and the fast proliferation of all kind of cells by in vitro method embryo culture embryo culture is the very important type of culture is the why we are using the embryo culture because uh, in some hybrid plants after uh, when the uh, proliferation of these cultures or uh, uh, these seeds cannot be able to regenerate so uh, so to overcome the uh, this kind of uh, problem excision of embryo in artificial condition uh, can be uh, required because embryo can be isolated and cultured in vitro condition to overcome the embryo abortion uh, in the uh, immature seed or the uh, ripe seed embryo cannot be able to uh, regenerate because these are mostly in the sterile stage it cannot be able to reproduce itself into a complete plant so to overcome all these and the seed dormancy is also another problem in the embryo culture so, and the shortening of the breeding cycle uh, so artificial condition embryos can be taken directly from the seed and then uh, regenerate into a uh, in different stages so embryo cultures have different stages 
torpedo shape globular shape heart shape so these uh, shapes we can confirm different stages of the embryos uh, so uh, after embryo induction um, complete plantlets and somatic embryos can be properly developed that can be used for some future purposes and also uh, we can uh, overcome the seed dormancy embryo version from the uh, immature seed and the unripe seeds and the uh, production of the haploid plants can be done by uh, these methods. Callus cell, callus and cell suspension culture is also a very important type of uh, culture technique used for the uh, some specific purposes. These are the callus are the non-organized tumorous tissues. These are parenchymatous in nature. These are thin walled cells that are developing or proliferating cells to a complete from the from the parent plant and produce the uh, develop the normal shoot, root, embryos and ultimately forming a, a complete plant. There are several requirements for the uh, callus or cell suspension culture. Some uh, callus are the differentiated and some are non-differentiated. Means some are unorganized mass of cells but some cells can be degenerated and produce or proliferate into a different organs and to a after that complete plant such as shoot induction, root induction and then complete organ formation can be transferred in the open field. Some requirements uh, should be maintained for the callus induction such as media and other growth parameters are the same such as in other type of cultures in somatic embryos or in seed culture and but also adding some plant growth regulators artificially in that medium. In that case use a cytokinin uh, with uh, lower concentration along with some higher concentration of some oxygen such as 2,4-D and other plant growth regulators. So after proper successful development of callus, these callus can be transferred in the liquid medium where all uh, media and nutrients are same but exclude the agar. Uh, callus that are the good for the uh, proper uh, good source of the cell suspension culture and uh, the proper development of the cell suspension culture for this tribal callus is the good source. Uh, the tribal callus or the loosely uh, packed cells are the uh, easily transferred in the suspension and can easily proliferate and good suspension can be uh, can be uh, can be made. So these suspension cultures have a specific requirements uh, that just like the normal cells but placed on the shaker in their liquid medium. This shaker proper agitation can be provided for the proper gaseous exchange of the cells and the growth and uh, proliferation of cells and proper uh, development of the cell suspension medium. Here humidity, light, temperature, all things are same as in the callus culture medium but only can place in the liquid medium or on the shaker. Here the cells are have a specific sigmoid type of pattern of the growth. Uh, such as black phase, log phase, stationary phase and decline phase. So this is a very, a very important type of culture. Uh, for this type of culture can be used for the enhancement of the plant secondary metabolites and also for some other uh, studies of the uh, enzyme system uh, and we call it biotransformation technique. For this purpose, uh, cell suspension culture can be used to so callus and cell suspension culture are very important type of culture used in the in vitro propagation method. Organ culture. Organ culture means direct organogenesis, direct or formation of organ such as shoot, root and direct organ formation, these type of culture are the organized type of culture means two to type cultures or 100% uh, genetically identical clones can be produced by this kind of culture. Why we are using the direct organ culture for the uh, uh, for induction or for the uh, large scale production of several type of two to type uh, crops uh, for large scale production on demand. So these are the very uh, good source of organ type of culture with direct organ formation and easily maintained and very short period of time and identical clones can be produced. 
so we can also transfer this uh, direct organ into uh, unorganized mass of cells by adding different hormones and then from the undifferentiated cells into a differentiated cells this can be also uh, can be transferred by adding several uh, plant growth regulators so organ culture is a simple type of culture but also very important type of culture used in plant tissue culture now protoplast culture what are protoplast protoplast we cell without cell wall all cell nucleus and the surrounding material should be present but without any uh, cell wall why we are uh, removing the cell wall because cell wall when we remove the cell wall we can easily isolate or fuse different species together to form a hybrid plant there are different method of uh, using the protoplast culture uh, mechanical method and enzymatic method for a mechanical method this is the tedious method so enzymatic method is the more uh, feasible and i uh, get good result for this different type of enzymes can be used such as pectinase cellulase alone or in uh, combination for removal of the cell wall and after proper removal of the cell wall these different type of protoplast or different uh, different varieties can be fused together by different method by uh, chemical method by the electrofusion method for this purpose electrofusion method different uh, electric voltage uh, provided for the uh, high voltage different protoplast can be fused and then after proper fusion uh, after several period of time regeneration can be maintained but uh, some chemical method polyethylene glycol also a very good source uh, for the uh, for the uh, protoplast fusion so after several hours uh, see the proper fusion of protoplast of different species and after successful fusion regeneration from these protoplast fused protoplast can be done by in vitro propagation where some conditions of the uh, in the form of the media can be maintained and different uh, techniques can be used for proper growth or the regeneration of the fused protoplast can be done by in vitro propagation method so why we are using protoplast for production of the somatic hybridization to produce the new uh, novel or new varieties for inter specific or intergeneric uh, hybridization can be done by this method genetic transformation can be done which is also a very important technique used in plant tissue culture anther culture anther culture also this type of uh, technique used in the in vitro propagation method this is used for the production of the haploid plants or after the haploid dihaploid plants so for the homozygous type of plant and increase the ploidy level can be used for this type of culture so plant breeding and the uh, crop improvement uh, this type of culture technique can be used this is not a very common type of technique but very useful for the production of the haploid plants there is another quiz somatic hybridization can be achieved by organ culture cell culture protoplast culture anther culture and the correct answer is protoplast culture and the root culture but the correct answer is the protoplast culture here are several applications of plant tissue culture the most important thing is the rapid clonal propagation means fast propagation propagation in a very short period of time we can produce those kind of uh, crops which are required in the larger quantity more produce uh, very rapidly throughout the year and effective uh, regeneration and production can be achieved without any delay so rapid clonal propagation also very important type or application using the uh, uh, this method 
and the very important application is the somaclonal variations means some variations uh, can be done uh, some are the uh, variations or can be done for for making the new varieties for a generation such as different uh, colors that can be produced in some horticulture uh, so plants different colors different varieties can be produced different uh, fruits and vegetables with different colors and some specific characteristics can be produced by somaclonal variation where variations can be done on the genetic level and some other level where physiochemic physio where uh, the characteristics can be changed and new uh, varieties can be formed another important application is the somatic hybridization somatic hybridization uh, means production of the new uh, varieties or the novel varieties uh, can be uh, done by the protoplast fusion method where the novel varieties and different varieties different characteristics of the same species or different species can be uh, uh, can be make and specific type of characteristics can be uh, added by protoplast protoplast fusion method and genetic transformation can also be uh, done a very really good course uh, or application uh, where the desired gene can be added uh, in the plants by and transgenic plants uh, can be produced and effectively regenerated uh, by in vitro propagation method. Another important application of the plant tissue culture is the production of the uh, disease resistant varieties and uh, in some cases virus resistant and some other specific type of resistance can be added in the plant and then plant can be growth on that uh, specific characteristics where it cannot uh, harm the such as um, any kind of herbicide resistant variety or the pest uh, weedicide resistant varieties can be easily produced by this method. And the uh, important application is the secondary metabolite production means the production of the uh, secondary metabolites that are metabolites that are produced by the plants that are not uh, uses for the growth and development of plants but these metabolites plants can be produced as their defense mechanism. So these metabolites have very several importance in some industries, some pharmaceutical industries, some food industries and some other uh, commercial purposes. These secondary metabolites are uh, categorized uh, such as alkylides, terpenoids, glucosides, phenolics and very important are uh, commercially available uh, secondary metabolites are normally available such as anti-cancer drug, taxol, which is also a very good example of the secondary metabolite that uh, produced from the plant source. And the very important type of application is the biotransformation. In biotransformation, use the uh, cell suspension culture where the external source substance can be added and the plant enzymes uh, can be used to transform that substance and then their characteristics uh, can be changed due to their change on the structure and functional group of that uh, compound or that drug and then due to these changes their activity can be changed and uh, we can check that by different uh, spectroscopic techniques. So these are all the uh, very important applications used uh, in the plant tissue culture uh, technology. Here is a summary of the plant tissue culture. Basically, it is a very important aseptic technique, uh, means contamination or sterile condition. Uh, the plants can be used for the large scale production, and these plants are the two to type cultures, which are disease and virus free cultures for using uh, two different type of uh, parts and the it has a great potential and applications in different industries in agriculture, in health, pharmaceutical and food industries and some other commercial industries such as in cosmetics and some other purposes, these uh, uh, metabolites can be uh, successfully uh, used. So this is all about uh, my lecture. I hope you understand. Uh, if you have any queries, Please, uh, please feel free to ask uh, to the given below email address. Take care and Allah Hafiz.